about time. I'm trying to keep pressure. I don't know how well he's hooked. Get up here. Yes. That's awesome. Just barely hooked, look at that. No skunk. Look at the gut on this little dude. He has definitely been munching on some, some shad. He's got really sharp teeth. Actually, he has a shad in his throat. Getting some sun. See the tail sticking out? That's awesome. He's definitely been munching though. Look at that gut. <laughs> That's crazy. Yes. Thank God. Let's let this dude go. See you, dude. Awesome. No skunk. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode of CES Fishing. That first clip that you seen was actually yesterday. I was at Car Fork Lake and I fished for three hours. I found that waterfall and I caught one fish. So I didn't want to bore you guys with a long video of me failing to find the fish. So I just made a little edit and I threw it in the beginning of this video. I've already fished today and I'm just now recording the intro because I didn't know if I was gonna do any good and I didn't want to record a long intro and then just not make a video. So I'm recording backwards today, but that's okay. I woke up this morning and it was really shady. We had a little bit of sun, but for the most part it was overcast. We had a lot of cloud coverage and it wasn't too hot. So I thought it'd be the perfect time to chase some frog fish at the dump. Cause I did catch one fish on a frog at fish pond this year. And it was like three pounds, three and a half, I think. I know they're in the dump. I've caught a five pounder and I've seen biggers. Anyway, you're gonna wanna check this video out. You're gonna wanna watch it till the end. Cause it was a pretty crazy day. We didn't catch many, but it was a good day. That's all I'm gonna say. So I'm gonna go ahead and roll the footage and I'll see you guys after the video. So we have about two hours to make something happen. It's looking like perfect conditions to throw a frog, which is what I'm most excited about. One just swirled on it, but he didn't take it. Come on. There we go. Good fish. Good fish. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's awesome. <sighs> Absolutely choked that frog. Yes. Nice. That's a four pounder all day. Oh, and he was hooked good. He wasn't coming off. Let's go grab the scales. I'm gonna try to get this to where you guys can see it all. Okay, hold on. Let's zero it out. Okay.
four pounds three ounces nice that's what it's about I'm gonna grab some pictures and then get her back in the water so something told me to come here guys I'm so glad I did it's like second cast I don't know it might have been first four pounder let's go let's get her back in the water and uh, crank another one oh man I'm so pumped it's an absolutely gorgeous fish oh, let's get her back in the water Look at the shoulders on that fish. See you, girl. That's how you start out the day right there. Four pounder on the first cast. It literally does not get any better than that. I'm freaking pumped. So I just bought this frog the other day. It's a little bit thicker bodied than most of the frogs that I have. So I figured it would uh, cut out most of the squeaks. And also it's like the same color as the frogs in my area. So I thought it would work pretty good. And I guess I thought, right, it's gonna be really hard for me to put this frog down and use something else <laughs> after something like that. Come on. So here's the deal. I brought three rods with me. I'm gonna walk around the entire lake. I got about an hour and 45 minutes. We've only been here for like 10 or 15 minutes and we've already cranked a four pounder. So I'm gonna bring the frog and then I got a flipping bait and a moving bait. I got a shad KVD 1.5 crankbait and a little, I don't remember, exactly what brand or what type but it's just a little flipping jig in watermelon red and green pumpkin with a bandito bug as the trailer so we should do pretty good let's get at it Are you kidding? I thought he had it. I got 30 minutes left, so I have to start heading back towards where we started. Okay, we're back where we started. I literally have a few minutes left. I'm not even sure how long. Let's see. Eight minutes. This no, no, he's still here.
<laughs> yes. That was awesome. <sighs> the frog came out right at the bank and he was just laying there and I just reached in and grabbed him. That's insane. <sighs> in the same freaking spot as the first one. The same exact spot. This one's a little bit smaller, but that is okay. This one's about two and a half. So we went all the way around the lake and had a couple bites, but we missed everyone that we had. And then we made it back to the same spot as we caught that four pounder and hook into a, a good two, two and a half. I'm gonna grab a couple pictures and then we'll get her back in the water. One last look at her. Let's get her back in. See you, girl. So there you have it. A uh, good day at the dump. I love that place so much. You guys have no idea. That's one of my favorite ways to fish, and I've caught more fish out of there on a frog than anywhere else. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. Ring that little bell so YouTube will notify you when I put out new videos like this. And I will catch you guys on the next one.